Hi, I'm Captain Ron Gothier, and we trailered the boat here to Stewart, Florida to take you on a Bahama adventure. West End is a 70 plus mile run from Stewart. Before heading over, you want to be prepared. Know the laws and custom regulations. Leave a flow plan and calculate your fuel. Old Bahama Bay has fuel, lodging, and of course the customs. When approaching, you must have a quarantine flag above the Bahamian flag before checking in. Local fishermen will bring to you fresh conch and lobster. These beautiful shells were found on a day's shelling. They also found these big sea biscuits. After checking in, we head to Boodle Bay. It's four to six miles to the south. Boodle Bay is 75 miles east of Stewart and is located near the west end of the Grand Bahama Island. Last year, the hurricanes damaged many boats, trees, and properties. but it is rebounding nicely. Today, the Bahamas thrive with their three main sources of income, tourism, banking, and manufacturing. Boodle Bay is situated on the beautiful oceanfront of West End, Grand Bahamas. The brand new facility has 12 air conditioned rooms, including four suites. All rooms have satellite TV, direct dial phones, and internet access. The restaurant and bar are also located on the premises. Everyone here is very friendly and the resort is well maintained. Oodle Bay has a long history. What was once the personal home of a famous fishing guide has now become a place where you can enjoy a Bahama vacation. The chefs at Boodle Bay will cook your catch in mouth-watering recipes like grilled lobster, cracked conch, and cracked lobster. The species we can catch here deep dropping are yellow-eyed snapper, queen snapper, snowy grouper, and misty grouper, or mystic grouper. All of these make really good table fare. When we come back, we're gonna show you some deep dropping action. Hi everybody, we're here at Boodle Bay in Grand Bahamas and Freddie here is going to take us out to do some deep dropping and then we're going to look for some conch and some lobster for dinner tonight. So join us on Ocean Explore.
We grab the frozen squid and ballyhoo and head out the channel for a deep drop adventure. We need to catch a couple barracudas for bait, so we put out our bellies and troll right outside the shore. Cuda? Tom reels in the first cuda in, and I gap it. Deep drop bait. <laughs> well, I'm a special. Freddy's letting out another bait. There we go. Fish on. Oh. Still. He's reeling in another cuda. Freddy also can put you on some of the best bone fishing you can imagine. He knows the waters like the back of his hand. Go ahead. Take him in, Fred. Get our bank for us, man. How many do we need? Do we need a couple or we should get a couple more? More deep drop bait. Barracudas make great deep drop bait. It stays on the hooks real good. You want to scale the fish first, then fillet and cut into smaller pieces. Okay, it's starting to come up right here. You don't have to go far to reach a thousand plus feet here. Yeah. I'm not seeing any fish. Do we want to try to drop here anyhow? I'm right on the edge of the drop. The next drop I'll have to turn around. Our deep drop rig is a dolphin electric reel on a crowder five foot, 80 pound rod. Now we can roll it up and see what it is. The eight pound weight and five circle hooks is what we sent down. Wonder what we got. Our first drop in Grand Bahama. There we go. First, uh, first pull. Looks like a queen snapper. Here we go. Woo! That's a queen snapper. Look at there. Look how pretty she is. Look how big the eyes are. Queen snapper. Our first pull. I like to put cuda and squid on the hooks. Deep drop in Grand Bahamas. Let's see what's down at 1200 feet. Yellow eye! There we go. There's one. Yellow eyed snappers. Okay. Yellow eyed snappers. Look at that eye. I like to walk around with them eyes. <laughs> All right, let's keep dropping. Well, there's one thing in the Bahamas you can't have enough. Look at this strange shark. That's it's shark. a big eyed six gill. 
This is a shark that was down 1,200 feet down. Look at the size of his eyes. Look at these eyes. Huge eyes. He done ate all of our goy bait, no dorsal fin. Crazy looking shark. Let's watch him swim away. Stay tuned for some underwater action. Yeah, he's pumping good. All right. That's a little better snapper here. He's pulling drag out. <laughs> he what? All right. There we go. What's next on our line? You never know. Big old snowy! Yeah! <laughs> Whoa! That's a snowy! This fish is really a misty grouper that the locals commonly call a snowy. Yeah. Woo! I don't know where to bring you. That's it! We got nothing else to try, folks! Wow, here's what we came for snowy grouper. Tastiest grouper in the sea. Beautiful white meat. 1,100 feet down. Well, Freddie put us on some bottom here in the Grand Bahamas. We're going to drop again, see if there's any more lurking, see if his brother's here. What do you think, Tommy? I think we're good. All right. <laughs> Let's do it. It takes time to get your rigs down and up and over a 1,000 feet. All right, another snowy. <laughs> yeah, Grand Bahama deep dropping, y'all. It's what you want to see. Ah, wow! <laughs> hey, dolphin, dolphin, right there, get a chunk of me. Here you go, Tommy. Get another. I'll get you another never know in. what can show up here like these dolphins. <laughs> hey, we got a yellow eye. <laughs> I always keep one of the dolphin on and the rest will stay with them. Keep them on. We got to get this line up. All right, we're here deep dropping off the banks of Grand Bahama here. And a uh, school dolphin came up. So uh, we reeled in the deep drop. So we thought we'd catch some dolphin while we're here. Look how pretty them fish are. Beautiful fish. So what you do is when you get these schoolies like this, we got five or six. What you want to do is get one on and you leave them on. And then that's the way you can work some other fish. One shot with a gaff. You want to reach out right at his head on the other side. Ah, I missed. Ah! There we go, in the head. Right there, right in the head. Look at that beautiful dolphin. Alright, we just got done deep dropping. We want to get some conch and some lobster for dinner. We're here at uh, Sandy Key and uh, we're going to dive this beautiful water here and try to get dinner. Just take a look and we're going to join you underwater. The water here is gin clear with abundant life everywhere. I looked this wreck over for some lobster. Getting pulled around behind the boat with a scanner or ski rope is the best way to find conch and lobster. When you spot something, you get your sling and check it out.
Remember, the same rules apply here. No egg-bearing females. The carapace has to be three inches long, but you can gig the lobsters with a sling or hook. The reefs are full of life and bigger fish like tarpon and eagle rays also visit here. Hey, we had a great time here at Grand Bahamas at Boodle Bay. Oh, Freddie here put us on the stuff. We got some beautiful snowy grouper, some great snapper. We can't, and we can get some dolphin came up to the boat. We're out there. We came on in, we dove the reef. We got some lobster and conch. It was a great time. So make sure when you come to Grand Bahamas, Get Freddy, come out with you.